We will now move on to providing tips for block mode simulations. As described earlier in this course, block mode time domain simulations are best suited for photonic circuits with unidirectional propagation. In the case of bidirectional propagation, the elements need to be well separated so that the feedback or the reflected signal has a delay greater than the duration of a single block. In order to run a time domain simulation in block mode, we have to set the value of the output signal mode property of the root element to block. The length of the block is defined by the time window property. This combined with the sample rate property determines the total number of samples in the block. The sample rate is a global property and by default the element inherit the sample rates from the root element. Each element can also have their own local values for the sample rate. If the local sample rate of an element is different from the global sample rate, then the simulator will automatically handle the resampling and merging of different optical signals from different elements. As we discussed earlier, in a block mode simulation, the block propagates through each element only once by default. This is controlled by the number of output signals property, which has a default value of 1. For simulations with feedback loops, we can select how many blocks are generated by each element source by setting the value of the number of output signals property.